Hello everyone, this is Guru Prasan K from 3D Fully Design. This plastic spoon was one of my old YouTube content. This is a plastic injection molded product and it's a food grade polypropylene plastic material. Here I would like to explore a simple mold or in other words a simple core and cavity extraction for the spoon in SOLIDWORKS. Let's view the final spoon drawing with all dimensions in mm. Pre-visualizing the final 3D design or end product that is core and cavity of the spoon. We do 2D and 3D trainings for students. Let's view some real world reference pics for core and cavity extraction. A disposable plastic spoon mold core and cavity and some more references. Let's explore a simple mold or simple core and cavity extraction for this polypropylene plastic spoon. Steps involved here for core and cavity extraction. Checking for draft angle, I will check for 1 degree draft. Applying shrinkage allowance, scaling up about 2%. Creating parting lines, creating shut off surfaces creating parting surfaces, creating tooling split for core and cavity. So let's get started. The polypropylene spoon is here. First I would begin with draft analysis to check for 1 degree draft. Draft is essential to pull it out from the mold. The spoon is displaying with green and red colors. All green colored faces indicates positive draft and red colored faces indicates negative draft. So here sufficient draft to move forward. Let's apply shrinkage allowance for this PP spoon, scaling it up by 2%. Next thing I am going to do is establish the parting lines. This will eventually define where two halves of tooling will split. So initiated the parting lines command. By using smart selection, I have selected top continuous closed loop of about 20 edges to define the parting line and it is displaying as a cow in blue color. Next work is to establish the shutoff surfaces to fill these two cutouts on the handle portion of the spoon. Selected continuous loop of internal edges of two cutouts to create shutoff surfaces. These surfaces close up the through holes to prevent mixing of core and cavity. Next work is to create parting surfaces. Parting surfaces directly starts from already defined parting lines. Establish the parting surfaces to a depth of 30 mm. These surfaces split the mold cavity from the core. Next work is to make the tooling split. Let's begin a sketch on parting surface for the tooling split. Drawn a symmetric rectangle with appropriate clearances all around the spoon. Finally the rectangle size comes to 158 by 40 mm. Then initiated the tooling split with a core height of 40 mm and a cavity height of 60 mm and it's done. A finished core and cavity for one spoon. Let's move the core up to pull the spoon from the cavity and weaving the internals of core and cavity. Let's duplicate this core and cavity 
to produce six numbers of spoon at a time by using pattern and mirror tools did the duplication for six numbers of the spoon six disjoint pieces of core and cavity joined to form one core and one cavity let's enlarge the core and cavity all around sketched and by using extrusion enlarged the full bottom cavity by 30 mm all around in the same way enlarged the full top core by 30 mm all around core display changed to transparent so that you could see through it made dia 2 mm and dia 1 mm cuts on both core and cavity for the runners and gates filled and connected all six plastic spoons with the internal runners and gates sketched and with revolve cut made the taper cut on the core for plastic injection made holes on four corners of core and cavity for support pins and finally the four support pins were added into core and cavity finally let's open the core and cavity and view its internals and the connected spoons let's pull up the connected spoons from the cavity let's look at detailing with final sizes a little glimpse on core and cavity materials and manufacturing some of the commonly used steel materials for core and cavity manufacturing the commonly used manufacturing methods for core and cavity cnc machining and edm that is electric discharge machining These 3D files exported to STEP or IGS and directly sent to machining and manufacturing. This is about my certifications. Please subscribe 3D Fully Design.